Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. Here we're looking at finding the general solutions of trigonometric equations. In this particular example, we're trying to find the values of theta which satisfy this equation between 0 and 360 degrees. First thing I'm going to do here with my equation is divide across by 2 because I want to isolate that factor of 2. So I'm basically just dividing across by 2. But first of all, I'm going to write down my equation here. It's 2 cos 2 theta is equal to minus root 3. I'm dividing across by my 2, so divide both sides by 2, and I get equal to minus root 3 all over 2. Next thing I'm going to do now is solve this. So I'm going to find the inverse of minus root 3 over 2. So that means that 2 theta is equal to cos inverse of minus root 3 over 2. So I'm going to go to my calculator now and find the cos inverse of minus root 3 over 2. And that's giving me 150 degrees. Now in order to find the solutions in these questions, you're going to need your unit circle. So before I go any further, I'm just going to sketch out to the right hand side here my unit circle. Again, this is just a rough sketch and in my sketch, I'm going to mark my cast, which I'm writing as C-A-S-T. Now what that means is that the A stands for all being positive in the first quadrant, only sine being positive in the second, only tan being positive in the third, and cos being positive in the fourth. Now we have a separate video on the unit circle, so maybe check that out in more detail. And if I'm just writing in my angles, so I have zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. So I'm going to need that now. And if I come back down to my <clears throat> solution here, I have two theta is equal to 150 degrees. Now we need to find the full general solutions for two theta before we divide by two. So that's an important step. We don't divide by two now and get 75 degrees. Yes, it is a solution, but in order to find all of the full general solutions, we don't divide by two here. So in our question, we've been given that it is a negative root three. So we know that the cost is a negative. And if you look at your unit circle here and go to um, 150 degrees, which is roughly about here, that's roughly about 150 degrees, you can see correctly that cost is negative in quadrant two. And if I fill in my reference angle, the angle here between my X axis and 150 degrees, it's 30 degrees. So that small angle there is 30 degrees. Now I'm going to look at where else on my unit circle that cos is negative. The only other location that cos is negative is in quadrant three. So I'm going to mark in my reference angle here once again, and I'm going to put in my 30 degrees, and I'm going to mark my full angle here, and it'll be 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees. So there's my two angles um, that can be representative of two theta. So I'm just gonna write that down now. So I have, so therefore, two theta is equal to 150 degrees. And I also have, I'm just gonna write it here, two theta is equal to 210 degrees. My next step now is writing down my general solutions. And in order to get your general solutions, this involves doing endless amount of rotations of your circle. So constantly adding 360 degrees on. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm now going to go plus 360 degrees. Now I can have 360 degrees. I can add another 360 degrees to get to 720, add another 360 degrees. Basically what you're doing is you're going 360 degrees multiplied by the amount of rotation. So I'm just going to put an N here. So if I want one rotation, I saw bin one. So that's adding 360. I saw bin two and so on and so on. I'm coming over to my second angle and it's 210 plus a full rotation of 360 degrees N. That N again, multiplying by the number of rotations. So there are my solutions, and now I divide by my two, which is in front of my theta. So therefore, theta is equal to 150 degrees plus 360 degrees times n all over my two. 
and I have theta is equal to 210 plus 360 degrees times n all over 2. And when I divide by 2, I get uh, 75 degrees plus 180 degrees n. So that's theta. And on my right hand side, my second solution is 105 degrees plus 180 degrees times n. Okay, so they are known as my general solutions. I'm just going to write in here general solutions. And the next step, I'm coming back now to my question, and I'm going to answer the part which says find all the values of theta that satisfy this equation. You can see here that I have two found, I have 75 and 105, but there's more. Let's find the other values for theta. So what I'm going to do now is sub in values for n. So I'm going to sub in 0 for n because that's not doing a full rotation. Sub in 1 for n, that would be one rotation and so on until I get to my largest degree which is less than or equal to 360 degrees. So I'm basically just going to test it for n is equal to 0 and then I'll do n is equal to 1 and perhaps I need n is equal to 2 but we'll see. So I'm going uh, 75 degrees plus 180 degrees times my n which is 0 and when I work that out I get 75 degrees plus 0 which is my 75 degrees so nothing new or groundbreaking there I'm going to do them both simultaneous here so I'm going to come over and do my n is equal to 0 for my 105 degree angle so that's giving me 105 degrees plus 180 degrees times my zero and 180 times zero is nothing and 105 plus zero is 105 degrees. So those two angles 75 and 105 are two values for theta. I'm going to try uh, n is equal to one now so 75 degrees plus 180 degrees times one and that is equal to 75 plus 180 which is 255 degrees and I'm going to come over now and do my n is equal to 1 for my second general solution which is 105 degrees plus 180 times 1 and that is 180 plus 105 which is 285 okay all four angles so far are less than 360. I'm now going to try n is equal to 2. So I'm going 75 degrees plus 180 times 2, which is basically 360. And 360 plus my 75 is giving me 435 degrees. So now you can hopefully see that 435 degrees is not within the parameters of 0 to 365 degrees so I'm going to exclude n is equal to 2 that's not going to be one of my values for theta and I'm going to just check n is equal to 2 over for my second general solution but it shouldn't work because 105 is greater than my 75 but let's do it times 2 which is 465 degrees. So like I said, we'll be excluding n is equal to two there. So my solutions, my final values for theta, 105 degrees, 255 degrees, and 285 degrees, because they are all between zero and 360 degrees. If you're in doubt with any of these solutions, what I would advise you to do now is go to your calculator sub these four values into your original equation here in yellow at the top and you should get minus root 3 for each of your four answers. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.